In this video, we'll write the formula for diphosphorus pentoxide, and it's a little bit confusing, so stay with me. If you were given this name, diphosphorus pentoxide, and asked to write the chemical formula, here's what you probably would do. You'd say, I've got phosphorus, so that's P, and di, that's the prefix to, P2, and then oxide, that's from oxygen, and pent, pent means 5, P2O5. And that would make sense. That follows the rules for naming these molecular compounds. And you know it's molecular because we have the prefixes in the name. We now know that this is not the correct molecular formula. This is what we call an empirical formula. So when scientists were studying this diphosphorus pentoxide, they would find the ratio of phosphorus to oxygen was always 2 to 5. So that makes sense that the formula would be P2O5. Later, the molecular formula was found to be different. It's the same ratio. We have 4 to 10. It's just double 2 to 5. So we still have the same ratio of phosphorus atoms to oxygen atoms, but the actual molecular formula, if you had a molecule of this compound, would be P4O10. But because the name was used so widely, it's really stuck around, and when we say diphosphorus pentoxide, we mean the molecular formula of P4O10, and we're just referring to the empirical formula with the name diphosphorus pentoxide. This is Dr. B with the empirical formula and the molecular formula for diphosphorus pentoxide. Thanks for watching.